Hello everyone, welcome back to another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you how you can fix if you are facing the problem verification failed could not communicate with the server. So if you're having this problem on your iPhone or iPad device, then here in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this problem if you are having this type of problem. So first of all, here you will need to close this tab. After that, first of all, here you will need to open Saturn on your iPhone or iPad device. Then after that, here, first of all, you will have to make sure that you are using strong internet connection. If you are using Wi-Fi, then you will have to disconnect with Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you are using mobile phone data, you will need to turn off your mobile data and turn it on again. After that, here you will have to force and restart your iPhone device. By tapping on the volume up button, then volume down, then press power button until Apple logo appears on your iPhone display. Then after that, check that the problem fixed or not. So if you're having still this problem, then here you'll need to move to next solution. Open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. Then here you will need to tap on your Apple ID profile. After that here, you will have to scroll below. Then tap on media and purchases. Then tap on password settings. Then here you will have to turn off the required password from here. Then tap on done. Then after that go back and check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem. Then here you will need to again open setting. Scroll it below then tap on general. Then tap on software update. And here you will have to make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS. Then you will have to update your iPhone device to the latest version of the iOS. Then after that here you will have to again open setting then tap on general. Then after that here scroll it below then here you will need to tap on date and time. And here you will need to make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct. And the set automatically is turned on from here. And the time zone is selected correctly from here. Then after that go back then again open setting. Then here you will have to tap on your Apple ID profile. Then here you will have to scroll it up. Then from here you will have to sign out your Apple ID from your iPhone or iPad device and sign in again. Then after that here you have to again open setting. Then scroll it below then tap on general. Then here scroll it below again then tap on reset. Then here you will need to tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then tap on reset. Then here you will need to tap on reset network settings. After that here you will have to enter your iPhone passcode. Then after that after all these settings hopefully your problem will be fixed. And next time you will not face this problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So in this way you can easily fix this problem if you are having this type of issue on your iPhone or iPad device. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel. And also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.